Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. I am sitting in our Kia EV6. It, overall, it's a great car, but one of the things that it doesn't have that is kind of annoying is uh, wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. The way that we've chosen to fix that is by using a CarLink CPC200-CP2A, which is a fairly new device from CarLink that provides both wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. We've been having a few issues with it. I've been engaging with CarLink support and they've been not super helpful. But they did suggest that I update the firmware. There is a problem with their firmware update process because in order to update the firmware, you need to have uh, internet connectivity and in order to have internet connectivity, you can't be connected to the device on your phone. Which just seems like a, a weird design choice to me, personally. But, you know, whatever. So, I can't update the firmware from my phone. In order to update the firmware, I need to pull out the laptop, put another wireless adapter in it, so that I can connect to the dongle through using one Wi-Fi adapter and then connect to the internet using the other one, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right here. So this Wi-Fi adapter, Wi-Fi 2, I have connected to, in this case, uh, the mobile access point on my phone. You can connect that to your home network. It's just that the dongle that I have is so old that I can't connect it to my network and I don't want to change the configuration there. So on the main wireless adapter, I'm going to click show available networks and I'm going to select this Kia one which is the name of the device as it exposes itself so I have connected to this before so it shouldn't ask me for credentials but if it does ask for credentials the password is one two three four five six seven eight as documented in the uh, car link support material so we're just going to let this connect and figure out what's going on I'm connected, I have no internet, that is normal. I'm gonna go over here to this browser and you're gonna go to 192.168. Oops, I typed that in wrong. It's actually 50.2. And as we can see here, not super awesome when it comes to visibility here, but we can change the zoom over here so that at least we can see what's going on a little bit better. All right, that's more readable. And what we want to do here is we want to check updates. See here, because we have this two network adapter thing set up, I'm able to connect to the Wi-Fi on the dongle and the internet to get a firmware update. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. And this will take however long it takes. So we got an error on the site, but you can see up here that um, we have uh, successfully uploaded the firmware to the device and now it's updating itself. So I'm just going to let this sit and not touch it. Okay, so the device is now coming back online. Let's show available networks again. Let's see if we can connect to it. Okay, so we are connected. Let's go back over here. Page, there we go. Refresh the page. So now we can see that we're running the latest version. And that's how you update the firmware on this CarLink uh, device. It's kind of onerous and annoying, but <laughs> you can do it. Anyway, I hope you thought that was useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments. Leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.